the Namib, a symbol of one of the biggest challenges in Namibia. Here, in one of the driest countries in the world, water is a highly treasured commodity for people, animals and plants. In a place where 80% of the rainfall evaporates and where rivers dry out, every drop of water counts double. This makes water a crucial factor for the development of the country as a whole. During the short rainy season, plenty of water collects in northern Namibia in the Oshanas, large depressions which retain the rain that falls on the ground. Water supplies in this region, home to half the population of Namibia, are upheld by a network of canals and pipelines. Water comes from the Kalekwe Reservoir in Angola. Maintaining safeguarded water supplies is becoming increasingly difficult, however, because of population growth and increasing industrial development in the north. Scientists from BGR and its Namibian partners have now discovered an enormous new groundwater deposit in this region of the Kulavai Etosha Basin. The aquifer reaches down to a depth of at least 350 meters. This groundwater treasure contains up to 5 billion cubic meters of drinking water. Very conservative estimates indicate that the volume of water stored in the Ohangwena II aquifer could cover the current water demand in northern Namibia for 400 years. This groundwater deposit can make an important contribution to safeguarding the water supply. The BGR hydrogeologists and experts from the Ministry of Agriculture, Water and Forestry of Namibia began to take a more detailed look at the recently discovered aquifer in 2010. The project, funded by the German Ministry for Economic Cooperation and Development, has now entered phase two. Six wells will be drilled currently to appraise the aquifer in more detail. Behind me, we see the works of our second borehole that we currently drill uh, as a set of a couple of boreholes up to 350 meters, where we tap the so-called Ohangwena II aquifer. Uh, this aquifer has been discovered in the frame of uh, our joint project, and it has a very high potential. We are now currently seeking to set up a test well field consisting of three to five boreholes. And on such a test well field, we can prove the long-term sustainability um, of abstraction from the aquifer, also for bulk water supply. This drilling work is co-financed by the EU and the Society for International Cooperation, GIZ. Most of the groundwater collected more than 10,000 years ago under an approximately 100 meter thick ceiling layer consisting of sand and clay. This has prevented pollution of the water by human activity, drinking water of the highest quality. The recently discovered resource is also of strategic significance against the background of climate change. Ancient, deep circulating groundwater systems of this kind have a major buffer effect with respect to climatic events. Even a successive series of extremely arid years would have no influence on this system. The name of the project is Groundwater for the North of Namibia. It consists not only of the investigation that we are doing here to improve the general understanding of the hydrogeological conditions of the area, but it also consists of the improved data management. And this is why one of our pillars is the development or the further development of the National Groundwater Database on the one hand side, which enables our partners to store, process, 
the data and assess the data that they're collecting. The Namibia National Database forms the basis for the efficient distribution of the available water. The new groundwater resource provides important support here as an additional source of water. It could be reserved for drinking water, while the rainwater is used for livestock and for increasing crop irrigation. Training local experts is an important part of the project. They are taught modern methods for exploring and managing groundwater resources. The aim of the whole project is, first of all, the cooperation with the local partners, the capacity development of local partners. We include not only the ministries, we include also the universities. We are currently here with six students and local staff on site. The students from the University of Namibia in Windhoek value the practice-oriented training in particular. Karen Domingos is one of the students. Um, my job here uh, as a geologist uh, student at Chunam, I'm logging the lithologies of this area. I'm very great. I'm, I'm very glad to work with the. Um, BGR people, they are very nice people, they are kind, they are helpful, they are tolerant, it's really nice. When you, someone tells you when you do a mistake, you will never forget that. So they let us uh, do mistakes and they correct us. It's fun when I'm home, it's like when I'm at work, I'm happy. <laughs> The local decision makers are a major help in realising the project. They ensure that the local inhabitants are informed about the importance of the measures which are implemented. This project is very, very important to Namibian people because we use the water from Ruakana, which is from Angola. We need our own water which is from our country, our sources. We can use this project for our community to use uh, this water. It's very, very important to us. The youngest school children learn the water ABC from members of the BGR team. This creates the vital awareness from very early on of how to look after this resource. Water, indispensable for life and as a raw material. Namibia's future depends on adequate supplies of this invaluable resource and its sustainable use. The Groundwater for Northern Namibia joint project makes an important contribution to realizing this goal. <laughs>